The man accused of making threats toward a Jewish synagogue in East Lansing appeared today in federal court. In a 43-page criminal complaint, the FBI says Sean Pitella had guns, ammunition, and was planning a mass shooting. Good evening. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. The case also focuses on what prosecutors are calling Pitella's online anti-Semitic threats. News 10's Amaya Kaznicki is live in Grand Rapids with the very latest. David and Ann, today in court, they reviewed, reviewed messages between Sean Pitala and a 16-year-old from New Zealand. Those messages were threatening that East Lansing synagogue. And the whole time that these messages were being reviewed, Sean Pitala showed very little emotion. IP addresses helped law enforcement locate where the messages were coming from, leading them to a Pickford home where Pitala was arrested. The home had Nazi flags, war memorabilia, three firearms, and a variety of knives. The prosecution claims Pitala is a danger to the community and himself, while the defense claims he is developmentally challenged and has no license or car, so therefore he isn't capable of hurting others. No one should have to live in fear that they are a target because of their race, their ethnicity, their religion, or any other protected status. We take all of these threats very seriously, uh, and we have to, uh, because we cannot be wrong in these situations, uh, because they have dire consequences. For now, Pitala is detained, but the judge has not come to a decision on whether or not he will remain detained throughout the rest of the case. The judge asked for a briefing from both sides, both lawyers, to come to that decision, and she's hoping to have both of those briefings by this Wednesday. For now, live in Grand Rapids, Amaya Kaznicki, News 10 Today.